Hello, Patrick Walchuk here. It's the end of March 2023 and as we usually do, we select a building <clears throat> that sold in the month of March and we'll go through a financial analysis uh, for you and we'll start off with a triplex that <clears throat> sold in a central location. It was a nice location and uh, this property was listed for $1,550,000. It sold for $1,535,000. Uh, scheduled rental income was about $73,000. Uh, the effective rental income was $71,000. And the operating expenses were $17,000. So when we factor in management and maintenance, the total operating expenses were $24,000 and change, which gives us an NOI of almost $47,000. So now that we know our NOI, we know our selling price, we can calculate a cap rate. In this case here, it was just a tad over 3%. So when I see 3%, it's kind of making me shiver, right? What's gonna happen next? Um, the operating expense ratios, they seem to be not too bad at 34%. Uh, in terms of what a sold for times the gross and the net, very, very high numbers. Um, I prefer to see something around you know, 14 or 15 for the gross and uh, for the multiple times the net, that should be closer to about 24. Um, the down payment at 35% is $537,000. This gives us a mortgage of blah, blah, blah. So what we do is uh, take our net operating income, deduct our mortgage payments, which is our annual debt service, and that provides us with an annual negative cash flow of over $23,000, which is a negative ROI of 4%, over 4%. So you invest, um, can we just quickly go back? Thank you. Um, you invest over a half a million dollars to have the privilege of losing $23,000 annually. So let's move ahead again. So what does it take for this building to at least break even or have a small positive cash flow? So all this part remains the same and our break even, sorry, a break even down payment, 57%. So you need almost 900,000, 875, and that re, uh, changes our annual debt service, and that provides us with basically a break even. You make $380 per month. So we're looking at something here which is probably unsustainable, and this kind of property is probably purchased by somebody who's either gonna live in it, number one, or number two, it's somebody who is looking to place their money somewhere other than equities. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me a call.